Hello everyone, this is another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Some very interesting questions. Someone wants to know what my thoughts were in reference to broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower and subpar thyroid function. You have to understand, there's a lot of different opinions about all of this natural drugless healthcare. Here's a statistic for you. Only 14% of you watching me right now eat the supposedly average number of fruits and vegetables in a diet. But over 30% of the population, the estimate, have subpar thyroid function. I believe one of the major issues for subpar thyroid function is, is chlorine, bromine, and fluorine. I eat broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. Sometimes it's sautéed, sometimes it's raw. But I would not personally avoid broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. That's just my opinion and my observation. And I hope that makes a difference forever. Ask that question. Dr. Bob, how can I stop sunburn? Or do I use a lotion? Well, if you decide to use a lotion, remember whatever you put on your body goes in your body. So make sure you look at all the chemicals, regardless if it's all natural or whatever. I do not put any lotion on my body. I take my oil internally. I may recommend taking flax oil with some calcium. We use a product called CalMagzyme. You see, flax oil takes the calcium to the skin allowing your body to just deal with the sunshine. I would avoid trans fat because trans fat sabotages your body's ability to make the long chain fatty acids from the flax oil. Dr. Bob, how do I stop heavy menses? Heavy menses is a body signal of liver compromise. You need to clean your liver up. Stop alcohol, be aware of how many medications you're using. If you cry easy, you might need some B vitamins. B vitamins help process estrogen. We use a product called calcium d -glucurate. I think you'll find that quite um, significant and quite important. Dr. Bob, I have groin pain. It's really stored and stopping my golf swing. Well, what I would suggest to you is you may consider having a lumbar film also with your pelvis because your pelvis could be twisted. And if your pelvis is twisted, it has to be corrected. Something I learned along the way is there's a gland called the adrenal gland. Its companion muscle is called the sartorius. The sartorius muscle goes from the front of your pelvis to your knee, from the what we call the ASIS. So if your pelvis is twisted, it can affect your knee, but if you're eating sugar, it can weaken the muscle, causing your pelvis to twist, which is going to affect your groin. You may want to listen to this again. Is there something for heavy or a lot of sweating? Tremendous question. We have started to notice that people have a, a phosphorus need because they're drinking a lot of alkaline water. I don't really promote alkaline water. And your body is trying to utilize and balance out your adrenal glands. So if your adrenal glands, which is your sympathetic nervous system, are exhausted, see the sympathetic nervous system causes dryness. The parasympathetic nervous causes wetness. So if your adrenal glands are exhausted, you're going to sweat a lot, then we use a product called Superphosphazine. Dr. Bob, last question. What is the best way to lose 10 pounds? Well, I'll tell you, that's the age-old question right now. You need to eat less and move more. It's pretty much the bottom line. Eat less, move more, stay away from these high-calorie beverages, uh, make sure you're exercising on a regular basis. I just read a statistic. The average American consume, or exercises 72 minutes per week. You should exercise 150 minutes per week. 25% of you watching me right now didn't even exercise a bit last year, according to the Wall Street Journal. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.